What's up agents and welcome back to another Division PTS build video. Today we're going to talk about what I think is the sleeper build of the PTS. Everybody's talking about strikers but this ongoing directed build absolutely slaps. It's absolutely amazing. But before we get started be sure to hit subscribe, give this video a thumbs up or hit the bell so you are notified when I upload more Division videos. Even better come on over to Twitch. I could be streaming live right now and hit that follow button. And if you need a community discord you'll find the link down below in the description and with all that said let's get started so ongoing directive has had a change you can see here now at the four piece bonus we get the rules of engagement shooting a status affected enemy will apply a mark killing a marked enemy grants a full clip of hollow point ammo for your active weapon and half the clip of the agent's active weapon to the rest of the party now, just to make sure we are straight on this, uh, if they're running an Eagle Burrow, that's got a 60 mag, they'll get 30 rounds. It's half of their own mag they get in ammo. If you're running an M1A with extended mag, you've got 12 rounds, you'll get 6. And that's how it works. Uh, right, so. Uh, the mark lasts for 10 seconds. Hollow point ammo amplifies weapon damage by 20% and applies bleed on hit. Really, really, really nice. Now the chest piece uh, increases the hollow point ammo weapon damage amplification to 35%, which is crazy. You think about it, uh, if you, you know, 20% from spotter, uh, you can see, or oh, 15% from regular spotter, 20 from perfect spotter, you know, a sacrifice only gives you 30. So as long as you've got the the ammo you're going to be doing some really really big damage the chest piece as you can see it increases the hollow point ammo damage amplification to 35 percent this bonus does not apply to party members so pay attention to that but it definitely makes it like the go-to chest piece like why would you run anything else and i'll explain why in just a second if you want to take a look at the backpack and the reason i'm not running that uh, you can see here that it increases the duration of your bleed status by 50% and all bleed damage done by 100%. Now you'd have to run status effects on the build for this to, you know, pay, do any use whatsoever. But I've gone, I've gone against this and I'll show you why in just a second. So I've gone with the Bullet King. My second weapon actually it was a GR9 with uh, Vindictive on. Thank you to Twitch chat for suggesting this. I've gone with the Gunner Specialization. And the reason I've gone with the Bullet King is because with ongoing directive, you can actually proc the Bullet King to having almost infinite hollow point ammo. Uh, and it just works really, really well. So the start of a fight, I'll throw this out. And there you go, watch it get something. Okay, got that up there. So then use this one. And now I've got Vindictive to my party. Then going to swap to my Bullet King. I'm just going to keep mowing things down at that point. And you can see the hollow point just keeps refreshing. I don't need to reload. Nothing really to worry about. And if Vindictive runs out, I'll switch back to my other gun. Rock that again. And then switch back to the Bullet King. And it just works really, really well. And you've got constant hollow point. Got two, you get 247 in this one. It's absolutely crazy. And you can just keep switching between both, buffing your team, but also getting kills yourself. You can see that I'm hitting for over 500k on some of these shots. And the build, you know, it's a support build at heart, but it absolutely slaps still as well. Let's put something I can just fight against, you can see. Not normal. You know, it just has no problem whatsoever. 629 though. And even at a distance with the Bullet King, still no problem whatsoever. You know, 537 there as well. And that's not even getting any team buffs. So let's take a look at it. So with the chest piece. Uh, it increases the hollow points so to 35%. So I think that's really important. I definitely think you should take that. Uh, if we're going to run the mask, you can see here I've got weapon damage, crit chance, crit chance. The chest, weapon damage, crit damage, crit chance. 
the holster weapon damage crit damage the knees a weapon damage crit chance then we've gone with the contractor's gloves for the lmg damage and the damage to armor and some crit chance and then to make sure that our critical hit chance was capped we've gone with the seska backpack with uh, crit damage crit chance and crit chance i've gone with vigilance you could go with wicked if you wanted to that would also look at 18 percent weapon damage uh take your pick there but basically you play through the entire thing gr9 bullet king gr9 bullet king and you've always got ammo They've always got the hollow point ammo which is obviously what matters and it just makes everything really really easy you can see both point of views at the end of this video so me giving hollow point ammo and you'll see how easy i get kills and then obviously the other way around where i was being given it on the m1a build hitting for some crazy crazy numbers if you want to look at my stats on the bullet king you can see 60 and 91 and then obviously I've got 60, 81, and 85. Just remember, if I build hollow point ammo here and go out into the world, I've already got it procced, so I can just use my Bullet King then. And I don't even need to worry about using my skills. So you can see here, I've got the, the Bleed Hive on and the Bleed Seeker so that I can get my initial rounds into my guns. But very often, it just don't need it. But... You know, I'm, I was hitting about 600k, 500-600k on this, which is not far off some DPS builds. But then my team are getting a 20% amplified damage buff. The bleed makes the enemies go crazy. It's just all kinds of good. This is a really, really good build. It's a lot of fun. And I'll put the both perspectives at the end of this. Uh, let me know what you think. Is this been a sleeper build for you? Would, were you going to check out Ongoing Directive or were you just going to leave it and think, nah, no good for me? Do let me know in the comments down below. Enjoy the footage. Don't forget to hit subscribe or come on over to Twitch. Thank you for watching, everybody. And uh, I hope you enjoy the footage. This by far has been my favourite thing on the PTS so far. Good night, everybody. We need you to secure the memorial and remove the True Sun's forces. If they maintain this outpost, the True Sun's will be a direct threat to the campus. Bye. 
interior while I get Henry's people to maintain the perimeter. into a base. There's an area beneath you with increased security. Isaac can't access data on this location. Stay alert. I don't know what you're walking into. Careful with those rounds! You wanna kill everybody in here? You hear that? Fuck this noise. I'm not dying to help the devil. DC-62. Detected. Heads up. Isaac just ID'd those shells as chemical weapons. We can't afford to let the true sons escape with those. You gotta find a way to close up that tunnel. According to the schematics Isaac pulled upstairs, we can lock that tunnel door from their control center. That should keep them from being able to transport those mortars loaded with DC-62. That should keep them from getting more of those mortars. You think closing the tunnel is smart? Fuck you! You plugged him from the
Go on ahead back up. The team from the campus has taken position inside the memorial. If you hadn't stopped them, I know they would have used those weapons on us, and we would have ended up like Castle. I can't tell you how relieved I am to have you on our side. Thank you. Today, we dealt a great blow to the True Sun's infrastructure. We confiscated a massive cache of chemicals. We need you to secure the memorial and remove the True Sun's forces. If they maintain this outpost, the True Sun's will be a direct threat to the campus. Check the interior while I get Henry's people to maintain the perimeter.
Chris has to turn the memorial into a base. There's an area beneath you with increased security. Isaac can't access data on this location. Stay alert. I don't know what you're walking into. Careful with those rounds! Just ID those shells as chemical weapons. We can't afford to let the true sons escape with those. You gotta find a way to close up that tunnel. to the schematics Isaac pulled upstairs. We can lock that tunnel door from their control center. That should keep them from being able to transport those borders loaded with DC-62. That should keep them from getting more of those mortars. back up. The team from the campus is taking position inside the memorial. If you hadn't stopped them, I know they would have used those weapons on us, and we would have ended up like Castle. I can't tell you how relieved I am to have you on our side. Thank you. Today, we dealt a great blow to the True Sun's infrastructure. We confiscated a massive cache of...